Welcome back to Gabino Games, and today we are battling the Dim Sum Boys, also known as DSB, Diversity, and we're coming from Just Cactus. Let's go straight to the action, and we're hitting this tower full of Thessarion, Bastet, and Odin. We're bringing in our Olivia together with the Bulldozer and our Wusa, right? So technically you can also bring in a Lulu with this team, right? Just make sure you have them speed tuned. All right, Wusa with the first turn. Yeah, the immunity is very important here, mainly because this Bastet is normally, you know, built on what, Violent, right? violent and high defense so when they do land that defense break you'll need the immunity here so that you can snipe this odin okay and then at the same time sleep no sleep but yep briefing back to your bulldozer oh man yeah it's quite unfortunate that he was able to steal that defense buff from our Wusa here, but nonetheless, we do have shields and immunity. Um, you'll need the immunity, especially like if you're bringing in a Lulu, because then if the Sarian puts a defense break on your Olivia, that Odin's gonna ship the target to that, you know, your Olivia, and she can snipe. I mean, he can be sniped, or <laughs> he, he can snipe the Olivia, and then three versus two. With the help of that Wusa, it's a very safe comp. Yeah, back in the day, uh, this was a team we worked with from Forky. What's up, brother? Long time. Okay, and a three versus one. It's pretty much a GG. Now, technically, if you brought your Lulu here, you can build two or three of these, and that can help you, you know, mitigate that this defense in general. Or you can also build more Tessarians, but if you're unlucky as I am, um, I've been trying to pull a Tessarian. I've had, what, three Theos, two Akimirs, and once I get that Tessarian, it's going to be, what, you can technically farm for it, maybe one, one Ifrit a month, right? But there you go, a really good offense against this defense. Let's see what our guildies are bringing. We got Batisang with that Luis Tessarion, and that's a Camilla. And then we got LB with a Tessarion, Camilla, and this time a Beta. OP! This is a good offense and a good defense. That's a Vigor, Kaki, and Triana. Let's bring Vigor, Fran, and Kaki. With the attack power lead coming from our Vigor, we should be able to do a lot of damage with our Kaki, right? Um, save the multi-hits until we're able to soften... Um, woo, yeah, the Kaki. And then, let's just keep working on the Kaki, lower his health a bit. Um, let's go Blood Slaughter or Blade Slaughter just to make sure they use their heals, because right now they haven't healed. And let's go try... The multi hits now for a good defense break that procs the um, salvation passive. Yep, and there goes the Kaki. Now, I like this offense mainly because it's elementally diverse, right? We do have this Kaki tanking this um, this vigor here. Defense broken. All right. Increases attack bar. So I'm guessing that's a Nemesis one. Yeah, that's a Nemesis Vigor right there. Violent Nemesis. Alright. Three versus one. Seems like a... Yeah, a speed, crit damage, HP, Triana. Okay, well. If the Violent procs keep going at this rate, it's going to be a Gucci siege battle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. 
We'll see, we'll see. All right. That's a really good defense from Octopath. Now let's see what our guildies are bringing in here. We got Wing with a bigger Lulu and OP Windy. Next up, we got Sugi with an Ikares, Skogul, and that's a Lulu. Nice, Sue. Going into Light and Dark Towers here. Let's see, it's, there's so much heal and so much revives. Can we handle this? It's an Amarna, Beta, and a Zerath with the crit rate lead. Let's see. In my opinion, Amarna is really good, right? Especially, he has a defense break on his first skill, right? Um, nonetheless, I'm, um, I'm not sure if we'll need to... Yeah, we brought a Vampire Skogul. Um, will this do enough damage though? If you Forbidden Gather, either the Amarna or the Beta, I'm thinking Beta. Okay, I'm not gonna cleanse yet. Mm-hmm. We'll need this beta to start putting up buffs, right? The fact that the beta used her heal will need the Amarna to use up his heal and revive. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh no, the Valiant proc. Wow, the branding. Let's cleanse that. Yeah, I think I misplayed there. I mean, looking at how it's... Yeah, no, even if we did kill the Verad, the Omarna could have still revived. So, let's try to... Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, kill the Avarna, but of course, the Violent turns, so that's gonna lower the cooldown. Oh no, ooh, wow. Man, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> Zerath. Oh, that's a GG, I think, huh? Although we do have a Vampire, man, but they keep healing. And proking. Wow, yeah, that Zerath, that Armageddon, sacrifices half of his HP to that deals damage. That was that was a lot of damage. Oh man, with the heal block too coming from the Amarna. Oh P. Oh man. O P Zerath. Now let's see who's attacking here. We got D head with the Luis Lauren, and that's a man, Zeratu. Yeah, it's doing pretty well, but man, I'm gonna go find this defense again. We need to take revenge. <laughs> we got a Carcano Triana, and this time an Iris. Let's bring firepower. Full fire team and working to kill this Carcano first because he does have the defense break. Let's go multi hit. Okay. And then I'm thinking let's go kill this Iris. Start working on her. Man, yeah, how come my my Rauk doesn't proc so much? You know, my Rauk doesn't do a lot of those. Yeah, the, the multi hits on skill one. But, I don't know, we do have team up, so that's pretty Gucci. A very safe offense against this defense. Nevertheless, OP Iris. More of this, Tessarion, Bastet, and Odin. Let's bring in our Luis, Tessa, and Camila. It would depend on your risk appetite, but ideally you should go for the Odin first. Unless you think your Camilla can tank that Odin. Because at the end of the day, um, it would depend on your Luis, right? With the immunity and with the shields. 
Because again, if this Thessalian is able to defense break your um, your Luis, then your Luis is going to be in very big danger from that Odin. While we are killing this Thessalian and Bastet, we got time for some shoutouts. So shout out to Fabio RT, Axe Balmond, what's up? Lemuel Flores, Jacob Ladd, Reese Dactyl, Fajar, Traxers, Consti, Rexy Boy, Song Yox, Sebastian, and we got Bortank and Rubens. Alright. Now is it's kinda dangerous for our Thessarian here. Is that going to be a dead Thessarian? Well Yeah, I was a bit <laughs> I thought no way, right? No way this Bastet and Thessarian are gonna come back from this. And at the end of the day, there's no way a Bastet can solo a Camilla as well. Where the Thessarian most probably can, because the you know the Thessarian has an oblivion, right? Nonetheless, yeah, with an HP lead from the Luis, that's a super extra tanky or Camilla. Man, these guys are so tanky. That took more than what? Almost more than a minute to kill those two guys. OP defense from Pew Pew Pew. Okay, we got Red 10 going off cooldown and I'm hunting for that Zerath. Yep, there it is. That Zerath Amarna beta. Let's go loosen it. We got our bail with the Dova and the Lucian. Let's go see if this can kill Amputation Magic. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh man, but very close though. Ah. The Revenge. <laughs> Whew. Blank, that was for you, bro. <laughs> Alright. Next tower, it's full of Sierra, Masha, and Clara. Yeah, I want a Masha, please. Well, we will bring our Fongyan together with a second Emilia and our very own Perna. I, if we had a Thessarion, I would Tessa Perna Tetra that, but I have yet to pull the Thessarions. Hopefully, we get that second one soon. Alright, let's go. going to be a second turn team oh no a stunned Emilia which is not good why well that's here is gonna bomb okay okay I'm thinking of really killing the Masha right or maybe we should kill the Clara because that's going to be very dangerous. Okay, good thing our Emilia cuts in so we can cleanse that. Yeah, because if the Fung Yen was, you know, defense broken, then... Wow, good damage from our Fung here. You see that? Ooh. Okay, let's go, Fung. Fung Yen. 7,000. With the defense buff. Nice, Sue. We are being bombarded with a lot of these Thessarian Bastet and Odin towers. This one's left standing, and let's go bring our Bale. Yep, Galleon, Diana, and Bale. To be honest, a bit risky, but let's give it a try. If it was a Zyros, it would be very, very risky. But because it's Bale, it can be risky if we don't kill the Bastet. Yeah, because then that's going to bring, you know, yep, the Oasis Blessing. The shields are going to negate those dots. Oh, no. And then if that... Yeah. um, We should kill, technically, the Odin, right? Because he's going to ignore defense. Nonetheless, we can go AoE here. And... We should be able to kill the Thessarian and Bastet here. Okay. And then left this Odin. Alright. Oh man, that was so close. Was that risky? Yes, if that enemy proc'd more violence than we expected. But 
Yep, that's a GG. OP Shao. We got two more attacks to go and we're attacking a tower full of these Kumun bigger and that's a Lydia. Man, yeah, let's play around with our Mo Long. We haven't used our Mo Long. It's going to be a bit risky, but I'm thinking Mo Long with the HP lead. Right. Yeah, let's bring our Vampire Mo Long. And then how about Icares and our Harmonia? First to kill for me would be the Lydia, right? With that AoE damage, man, she's gonna be very dangerous. But they will get the first turn. Everybody hitting onto our uh, Harmonia. Can we kill? Ooh. Okay. Oh man, that was so scary. Because if she survived that, that would have been very dangerous. Um, but heal blocks everywhere. We got heal blocks from the skill one of the Kumun and the skill one of the Vigor. So that's a bit unfortunate for our Ikaris. But, well, right now the Harmonia. Yep. Oh no. Unwanted harmony onto the vigor. Ooh, that defense break is very dangerous. Let's go heal. Yep. Cause that can. Oh man. Okay, let's go cleanse that. A little more, and we will have the Icares and Mo Long ready. Nice stuns from our Mo Long. That was pretty clutch. Okay, let's kill this bigger right no more heals for you Komun. okay there goes our harmonia and yeah don't need to heal right now because we do have the heal blocks keep dotting we do have the mo long the vampire mo long at that no heals for you mr Komun, but can this kill all right oh man Okay, one more attack to go. OP Moses Swag. We gotta go, we're running. Um, the battle is almost finished. Let's hit one more Kumun, Vigor, and Lydia. I don't know. Um, let's bring a Violent Molong this time. A Violent Molong. And then... I don't know. I'm thinking we can... Bring either Diana or a Laika. But let's play around with Diana. And then someone or something to provide us with a little bit of heals and sustain. How about a second awakened Lulu? Yep. Oh wait. Lulu or a beta? No, but the thing is we need We need like cleanse. Yeah, let's go for Lulu. Will this work? I don't know, but that's the RTA meta. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the RTA meta, you pick either the Molong, Lulu, and then someone picks the Fire M Bison, and then you can either go uh, Diana. But our main goal here is to snipe this Lydia. Right? Hopefully, we don't glance. Oh, but we glanced. Can this kill? Reckless Assault. Should kill. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was such a GG. Um, looking back right now. What went wrong? Uh, I'm thinking... The Lydia kind of... Yeah, the Reckless Assault didn't go through. I think it's because of the passive, right? Because she reflects 30% of the damage back to the opponent. But correct me if I'm wrong. I think the damage should not be lowered, right? It doesn't reduce damage. Well, I don't know. Well, nonetheless, I, I don't think, regardless if she was tanky or not, or because it's a Mo Long reducing damage and he wouldn't have additional health. But anyway, that's OP, man. We got greetings from 
diversity here. Alright, nice two. Please take care too. Alright, hello to Oswald and Ricky. Hi to or from Roseanne also. Okay, and there goes the siege. We got 295 kill points and 317 crystals. That's a GG well played to diversity and the dim sum boys. Alright, now let's go open up our triple S trophy box. Can we get something Gucci? I don't know. I hope to open like a light and dark scroll if we even get that lucky. But yeah, the last summon session was kind of bad. Although it's already a new month. So, new month of summons. Happy 1st or happy August everyone. And we got not such a good box. But yeah, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching and may the procs be with you. We'll see you on the next one.